protein-containing foods are found primarily in meat products like chicken, fish, steak, pork, but it's also found in things like eggs, it's found in dairy products, which would be cheeses, yogurts, cottage cheese. It's also found in soy protein and also some vegetarian protein blends. But the majority of protein does seem to come from meat-based sources. The reason protein is so important is that the body will break down the only place we have protein in our body if we don't take in what we need each day. The body has an absolute requirement every single day for what's called essential amino acids. These are the building blocks of protein and the body cannot make them. They have to be taken in from the diet. So if you go ahead and you don't have enough protein in your diet because you're actually cutting down on calories or you're just not eating well or that, you know, your body will actually take protein out of your own muscle tissue. We have no storage ability for protein and all day and all night long, our body actually assembles and disassembles these amino acids. So after you sleep all night for eight to 10 hours, you haven't been eating all night, you've been sleeping. The body has had needs for certain amino acids and the body has been breaking them down and reassembling them. If you don't refresh those amino acids at breakfast, at lunch and at dinner, you will continue to break down this protein and you're in what we call negative nitrogen balance. Now, the body will replace that when we have adequate protein in our diet. But the body can't store it up. The way the typical American diet works is most people don't have protein at breakfast. They tend to have cereal and fruit. At lunch, especially when someone's dieting, they have a salad. Maybe they'll have a little bit of protein, but not often. You know, they may have a roll or something like that. Again, not protein. And then they may have four or six or eight ounces at dinner time, maybe a large amount of protein but the body can't store up the protein it had at dinner to replace those amino acids that are needed at breakfast time. So the way the metabolism really works better to reverse this hormonal condition that's going on with this intense storage of fat and not moving sugar into to cells properly is to give the body adequate lean protein, essentially every few hours, which is why we encourage our patients to have three meals and two or three snacks a day, but we really take a lot of care to make sure that those snacks and the meals contain enough protein. The body relies on protein for so many chemical pathways that the body can't live without it. And in fact, when somebody is sick and they get malnourished, they break down muscle tissue. Many people, when they diet without understanding this, will lose weight, but they break down muscle tissue, and the body will break down muscle tissue before it allows any fat to be lost.